The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Tuesday, May 27, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Economist Jeremy Stephen is describing the lack of an e-commerce platform in government departments as worrying in light of the recent Auditor General's report. He says all revenue collecting government agencies should be taking payments electronically so as to better manage cash flow. Stephen was addressing an accountant's seminar recently at the Hilton Resort. Government highlights licenses, road tax, as strong cash flow taxes. And I'm saying, if some cash goes missing, right now, as far as I'm concerned, cash should be secondary to things like that. It should be secondary. It should be checks first and carrots. Everybody has a debit carrot. And it should be required as part of government control because now you have the bank being able to monitor what you're doing much more effectively if you can reduce the amount of steps it takes before the bank receives the, the final thing. And given the terminals, you get instant receipts. So it becomes a bit more difficult not to control cash flow. But that people should be able to pay their back only every cents. And, and that is the most technologically advanced department. But the banks here obviously put a high cost on e-commerce, but nonetheless there are ways to go about it. Use the credit card. Stephen, who's the president of the Barbados Economic Society, also raised concern about another section of the report, which showed that taxes on goods and services performed below budgeted expectations by about $130 million for the fiscal year 2012-2013. He notes this has implications for investor confidence. Why I picked that up as a major concern to any investor is that the it's unlike what most people believe, tourism is not our biggest industry. It's not. It's retail and distribution. 20% of GDP comes from that. Tourism is around 18 or so, 16 to 18, depending on who you believe. But it's a major source of foreign exchange. That's the major advantage or major benefit to tourism. Barbadian youth interested in agriculture will soon have another avenue to upgrade their skills. The Ministry of Agriculture will soon be launching its Youth Agropreneurship Program in mid-August. Senior economist in the Ministry of Agriculture, Katrina Bradshaw, says the program will run for three years. Besides the development of various crops, the program will seek to address issues relating to prelial larceny, marketing, packaging and labeling. A farmer's market will also be developed and partnerships forged with a number of youth groups, institutions and community groups. In addition, Badshaw says the project will seek to train the youth in model farming and encourage new product development. The project will be carried out in association with the European Union and the Ministry of Labour. Cable and Wireless Communications, the parent company of Lime, says it plans to invest one billion US dollars in its fixed and mobile network over the next three years under its Project Marlin investment program. This was revealed in the company's financial statement for the year ending March 31, 2014. Cable and Wireless is expected to increase its capital investment program by 30% in the next three years, adding a total of $250 million to its standard level capital expenditure. The new strategy will target top-line growth with investment in new networks and services like 4G mobile networks, Wi-Fi hotspots, TV services and business-to-business -business solutions across its operations in the Caribbean and Latin America. Now for today's financial tip. The older you get, the more your ability to manage your own financial affairs decreases. It's therefore important to endow someone you trust with the responsibility of managing your finances for you when you reach a certain age. That's been the Barbados Today Business Minute. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb 
subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Don Paris. The Business Minute is brought to you by Signia Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.